my first tip to y'all would get those 10 cups of water in a day even a gallon at that One second tip is to eat your fruit and store your fruit correctly. I know a lot of people don't like buying fruit because it goes bad. Um, you know, it doesn't really last long. But if you store it correctly, you know, you buy the right amount as you should. You know, fruit you should only buy for a few days. Don't buy a week, two weeks worth of, worth of fruit. Fruit you should be buying every few days. So make sure you're eating your fruit, storing it correctly, washing it. As y'all know, the fruit we get in the States isn't as fresh as fruit maybe in the islands and other countries, all those exotic fruits. So really make sure you wash your fruit thoroughly with water. And I also recommend doing an extra wash with this vegetable fruit wash from Trader Joe's. And I'm sure there's many more alternatives. Um, yeah. So making sure you watching what you eat because at the end of the day, we are what we eat, consuming lots of water because all of those other sugary drinks energy drinks really don't do good for us at the end of the day and in the long run they may help in the moment but they really ain't good for us and third you want to make sure you you know storing your fruits and greens correctly because i feel like that's also the thing that unmotivates people to eat healthy is that you know healthy things do go bad faster so you, got, you just got to make sure you're storing them properly get your glass containers no plastic um Buy what you need for the few few days. Don't buy for weeks and months. Only things you need to stock up for weeks and months is like canned goods, stuff that can't go bad, you feel me? But other than that, y'all, do your research. Really take time out of your day. Get a little notebook, get notes on your phone and do some research. You will be on my blown and you don't have to even be vegan, but just reading articles like this, seeing ingredients to avoid, seeing what they're made out of, seeing ways to maybe lose fat around the body what causes uh lots of fat you feel me food and ingredients that causes cancer you know like do research on stuff like this write it down in a book write it down on your phone you know make sure you're writing it down because it gets installed instilled in your head better than just reading it um and do your research on these health and lifestyle changes y'all because this at the end of the day will make you feel better we have full control of our life, dopey fam. And that's like the really shit I could tell y'all. Man, if your days start off rocky, hectic, there's something you got to do to change that. Whether it's in, you know, the way you think, the way you move, speak, and especially our health lifestyle, what we're consuming, eating, that really has the biggest effect on us more than people know. You know, we're we're all natural. Our bodies are natural. We're like, you know, earth beings. So if we're putting in things that aren't natural and shit, you know, we're going to feel it at the end of the day. So anyways, y'all, in order to be our best selves, we really got to get on top of our health and be the best versions of us. And in order to reach the goals and the places we want to get in life, it's best, you know, to be the healthiest versions of ourselves. So last but not least, y'all, get outside. Like, I really mean it. Get outside. Don't get ran over either. Come up here in the middle of the street, man. And this is like the biggest thing I preach about is like, you know, coming from the city to the suburbs, it's crazy. Like having all of these that we do. So go outside, find new spots, travel, get in nature, you feel me? Just get in tune with the outside world, earth. These trees are so soft. I don't even know if I don't even know what the name of these Johns are called. If you do, please comment down below. But these are my favorite trees, I swear. But growing up, when I moved over here, you know, I used to go out all the time in high school by myself, just being in nature, you feel me? Because, you know, everyone would like, like to party and shit. And like, just coming from the city, you know, my life, like, just flipped and changed. So I 
was always like trying to into a nature explore because you know i am from here and i've never really seen wildlife in nature like this until i moved out here to kelly but anyways y'all this spot is fire so i am gonna be smoking up this bag right now thank you for waiting You want to talk your shit? Go ahead, because this is going to be posted. Guys, she has me in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and I'm starving, and I offered to pay food. Yeah, she's capping. <laughs> she never once said she wanted to take a nigga out. All right. I feel like flexing. Bitch, just call my phone. Don't feel like texting. My Louis clothes is fresh. That's what I'm dressed in. Okay, I'm eating the lollipop and I'm thinking about the the bug, the the fucking bug it comes from. That's just crazy. I ain't trying to fuck with nothing with red forty no more. But that's like the most natural red color. Yeah, fuck that, nah, <laughs> fuck that. I ain't fucking with it. Anyways, y'all, yeah, was popping. We back updating y'all a little bit later. Y'all already know what we smoking on, so. This is um the end of the night, and we've been smoking on, I guess y'all can say low budget weed, lows, whatever you want to call this, but this is a 20... If you budget weed, then I always want to be on a budget. I'm saying. This is, was $20? Yeah. 20 bucks, um, depending if there's tax, no more than 25 out the door, and I've been fucking with this Galaxy Mints Heavy. I mean, Elyon never disappoints, so I wasn't surprised. And then... I didn't get too much videos, but we got to smoke some feels with my sis. She came through. This is also some lows. Twelve dollar for a three pack. That shit was that shit was pushing. But um right now we're gonna smoke up some more in the night. But to answer y'all questions, does low budget weed hit? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it do. It price don't matter. Just like price and weed percentage, they don't matter. It's all about the grower, where it's coming from, the farmer, you feel me? So Always give give low shelf but a try. Don't always go for, you know, top shelf. For real. Anything you want to add? Sometimes top shelf don't even be hitting. That's a f <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's number one. Yeah, like, stay away from those um, dispensaries where the bud tenders only recommend you, like, the highest stuff. Like, mm. you know? Or the ones that ask you, like, oh, are you on a budget? Or, like, what's your budget? Like, where I went, they didn't even ask me, like, what's my budget. They just recommended me, like, the best. That's facts. Yeah, so if y'all haven't hit a dispo, if y'all do go to dispos, that's just some tips right there when you go into a dispo to look for. That's a very key point, Shadi. For sure. For real. Because I always noticed that it doesn't hit. Like, I'm always telling them, like, mm, it was all right, but I could have. I like this one better. Yeah, you could have some better. Shorty going to light this up for me. I know y'all see how dirty the bong is. I know that ain't valid, but for the bong to be that dirty and not to be that smooth, that's just say so. <coughs> I'm probably gonna go get some <coughs> gas right now. <coughs> Cause I let the gas light turn on. Mm. And she I know, shorty told me, don't be doing that, which is facts. Cause it really do be coming through. Like fill your tank up halfway. You only got to put a dub in it or whatever depending on how much your car takes, but anyways, but I go get some gas, maybe vacuum the whip. We just gonna smoke up. Maybe grab some snacks and cap in for the night, watch a movie. But I'll catch y'all later. We got tests, we got glocks. You say one beef for you, no got the drop. Roam like a wood, you be smoking on that. Puff, puff, pass, you be smoking on that.